Hi everybody, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. In a previous video, I showed you how to create your own team that you could use for organizing your group projects or study groups here at Cape Breton University. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule some meetings or how to start a meeting with your group members. I'm already in a meeting right now with Laura, but let's say that Laura and I wanted to schedule a meeting down the road, maybe for tomorrow. Um, we can do that using Teams, using the calendar option. So I'm going to click on the calendar here. It's going to bring up my calendar of uh, all my meetings coming up. Yes, I do have a very busy schedule over the next couple of days. Well, let's say Laura and I want to meet at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, and I have some free time here. I can just click on this area here, and I'm going to call this our group project planning. Now, I can add Laura as an optional attendee here by typing her name, and that will add her to the meeting, and I've got my date and time scheduled. Or, if I don't want to add people individually to this, what I can do is just add a channel. We've created our group. If you click on the Add Channel here now and scroll down, you can see all of the different groups that you are a member of, all of the different teams. So I'm going to look for my study group. And now I can select the general channel or I can select the video production channel and I can schedule a meeting for either of those. Let's go with the general channel. We want our whole group to meet with us. And I'm going to add a quick note here that this is a test meeting and I'll hit send. You'll see the meeting appear here in your calendar. Laura will now see this meeting automatically appear in her Outlook email calendar as well as her Teams calendar because she is a member of this group. When it comes time for us to meet, she'll see a reminder pop up. She'll see it in her calendar. She can also look for this meeting, which is still saving here. It will show up like this at the meeting time. It'll, it'll change color and there'll be a join button. So you and your teammates can just click on that join button and it'll bring you right into the same meeting room. Now let's say Laura and I are already in our Teams area and we're chatting back and forth with, with each other. So I'm saying hi at Laura. Let's meet now. What I can do now that I'm in this general area, if I want everyone to be able to access this, I can simply click on, you'll notice that there are a bunch of buttons, a bunch of options down here underneath the chat box. One of these looks like a video camera in the middle. If I click on this, it's going to start a meeting. And I can click Meet Now, and it will launch that meeting. I'm not going to actually start this meeting because I'm in the middle of one right now with Laura, but it would start this meeting for me, and anyone who's a member of my study group will see that a meeting has started. They'll see a Join button, and they can join that meeting. Now let's say I just wanted to meet one-on-one -on -one with Laura, but I wanted to meet with her right now. I didn't want to schedule a meeting for tomorrow. I'm going to come into my calendar area, and I'm going to click on this Meet Now button, and it's going to start up a meeting called Meeting with Rob Power. I can invite people into that meeting and tag Laura to join with me.